Let's find the perimeter of this rectangle and then we'll find the area. First, let's concentrate on perimeter and remember that perimeter means distance around. Since this is a rectangle, this length is the same as this length, so this is one foot also. And this width is the same as this width, so this is two thirds of a foot also. Remember once again then, perimeter means distance around, so to find the perimeter of this rectangle, and I'll just use P to stand for perimeter, it's going to equal this distance, which is one foot, I'll write down one right now, plus this distance, two thirds foot, plus this distance, one foot, plus this distance, again, two thirds of a foot. All right, let's see what we have. Well, we have one plus one, which is two plus, two thirds plus two thirds, that's four thirds. And then it's up to you really how to proceed from this point on. If you'd like, we can write four thirds as a mixed number and go ahead and add in that fashion. In other words, this is two plus, Four thirds is one and one third, right? So two feet plus one and a third is feet is two plus one, that's three and a third. In other words, to add these numbers, we add the whole number parts and we add the fraction parts. Well, when we add the whole number parts, that's two plus one, which is three, and the fraction part, there's nothing there, so you can think of zero plus one-third, or zero thirds plus one-third, and it's one-third. So this is three and one-third feet as perimeter. Now let's find the area. Area, remembers the amount of space enclosed by a figure, and for area, we find the area of a rectangle by length times width. So length being one, I'll go ahead and write down foot this time, width being two-thirds foot. So what is the product of one times two-thirds? One times two-thirds is two thirds, and then feet times feet, that's square feet. What is the area of this rectangle? Two thirds square feet.